Welcome to Stevens World UK. Today I'm at the historic Portsmouth Dockyard. So today, the Mary Rose Museum is part of my world. The Mary Rose was a carrack in the English Tudor Navy of King Henry VIII. She was launched in 1511 and served for 33 years. She saw her last action on 19th of July 1545. The wreck of the Mary Rose was located in 1971 and was raised on the 11th of October 1982 by the Mary Rose Trust in one of the most complex and expensive maritime salvage projects in history. The surviving section of the ship and thousands of recovered artefacts are of great value as a Tudor period time capsule. The excavation and raising of the Mary Rose was a milestone in the field of maritime archaeology, watched by millions live and overlooked by Charles, Prince of Wales, who later, as we all know, became king. So I'm at the entrance to the Mary Rose Museum, so let's take a look and find out how it all began. When their world ended, our story began. In 1545, a disaster struck the Mary Rose, and she sank in the servant only a few miles from where you're now standing. She lay undiscovered for hundreds of years, entombed in the seabed until her wreck was finally located by a group of divers in 1971. After years of careful planning, on a cold, wet day in October 1982, the hull of the Mary Rose was raised from the seabed which had protected the ship and its contents for over 437 years. This transition from obscurity to fame was witnessed by a global television audience of over 60 million people. Perhaps you were one of them. I certainly was. Today, Mary Rose and her thousands of artifacts provide a unique insight into life on board a Tudor warship. I was near 18 when I came to the throne. Yes, that's me up there. Hard to believe, isn't it? A great king should seek glory in just war and rightful conquest. Now, by ancestral right, I was also king of France. But I could not enforce this unless I waged war on the French, and to do this, I needed ships to carry my armies across the narrow seas. When my father died, I inherited just five of these ships. Now, I have near six. The first ship I built was the Mary Rose, and I paid for her out of my own purse within ten months of my accession to the throne. She was named for the Blessed Virgin Mary and our Tudor Rose. And she proudly bears this emblem high atop her folks. My army by sea, my Lady Royale, has been one of my chief delights. I have built great dockyards and gun foundries to arm our ships and fortify our coasts. And my greatest ships have bellies bursting with guns set in ports with lids which can close. And I am making him vice admiral in my very rows. My lords! What are you? The enemy is sighted by the whites. Captains, to your ships. Tally not. I will hasten to my army by the South Castle. Godspeed, and with God's grace, the winds will favor us.
Mary Rose was one of the largest ships in the English Navy through more than three decades of intermittent war, and she was one of the earliest examples of a purpose-built sailing warship. She was armed with new types of heavy guns that could fire through the recently invented gun ports. She was substantially rebuilt in 1536 and was also one of the earliest ships that could fire a broadside, although the line of battle tactics had not yet been developed. Several theories have sought to explain the demise of the Mary Rose, based on historical records, knowledge of 16th century shipbuilding and modern experiments. The precise cause of her sinking is subject to conflicting testimonies and lack of conclusive evidence. Since the mid-1980s, the hull of the Mary Rose has been kept in a covered dry dock while undergoing conservation. Although the hull has been open to the public for viewing, the need for keeping the ship saturated first with water and later a polythene solution meant that before 2013 visitors were separated from the hull by a glass barrier. By 2007, a specially built ship hall had been visited by over 7 million visitors since it first opened on the 4th of October 1983, just under a year after it was successfully raised. construction of this museum, conservation of the hull continued inside a sealed hot box. In April 2013, the polythene glyso sprays were turned off and a process of controlled air drying began. In 2016, the hot box was removed and for the first time since 1545, the sinking of the ship itself, the ship was revealed dry. The new museum displays most of the artifacts recovered from within the ship in context with a conserved hull. As of 2018, the museum has been visited by over 1.8 million people.
So we are one of the four parts of mass and extra room of mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shells and gravel and slowly settle over time. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on great future content from Steve's World UK. Until next time, be safe, be good, be kind and be careful. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn once, but only two seconds to like or subscribe to see great future content from Steve's World UK.